Honorable Raksha Mantri, Sri Manohar Parikarji, Honorable Raksha Jarajaj Mantri, Rao Indraji Singh Ji, Chairman Chief of Staff Committee and Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Arubra, Chief of Naval Staff, Admiral R.K. Dhawan, Chief of Army Staff, General Darbir Singh, Defense Secretary, Sri G. Mohan Kumar, Senior Officials of MOD Services, Director General PIV, Sri Frank Narayan Ji, Distinguished Journalists, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of the Ministry of Defense, I extend you all warm greetings on the occasion of Janmashtami and welcome you all to this historic media interaction. All of us are eager to know about the decisions of the government with regard to one rank, one pension issue. So without consuming any more time, may I now request Honorable Raksha Mantri to give out the highlights of the decisions. There will be no question answer following the Minister's statement. Sir. Government of India respects its defense forces and ex-servicemen for their valor, patriotism, and sacrifices. The government is proud of the devotion to duty and bravery. Our forces, beside vigilantly and gallantly defending the nation, have displayed exemplary standards of courage and bravery in natural calamities, law and order situations, and other difficult circumstances. The issue of one rank, one pension, or OROP, as it is called, has been pending for nearly four decades. It is a matter of deep, deep anguish that the various governments remained ambivalent on the issue of OROP. In February 2014, the then government stated that OROP would be implemented in year 2014-15, but did not specify what OROP would be how it would be implemented or how much it would cost. An estimated rupees 500 crores provided for OROP in the budget presented in February 2014 by the then government was not based on any thorough analysis. It is pertinent to mention that the then Minister of State for Defense in 2009 had in reply to a question informed Parliament that there are administrative, technical, and financial difficulties in implementing OROP. It is for these reasons that the present government took some time to fulfill its promise. Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji has on various occasions reiterated the government's commitment to implement OROP for ex-servicemen under military pension. As stated above, the previous government had estimated that OROP would be implemented with a budget provision of mere rupees 500 crores. The reality, however, is that to implement OROP, the estimated cost to the exchequer would be rupees 8,000 to 10,000 crores at present and will increase further in future. The government held extensive consultations with experts and ex-servicemen. The main argument for OROP is that the defense personnel retire early and thus are not able to get the benefit of serving till normal retirement age. Despite the huge financial burden, given its commitment to welfare of ex-servicemen, the government has taken a decision to implement the OROP. In simple terms, OROP implies that uniform pension be paid to armed forces personnel retiring in the same rank with the same length of service, regardless of their date of retirement. Further, enhancement in the rates of pension would be automatically passed on to the past pensioners. This implies bridging the gap between the rate of pension of current and past pensioners at periodic intervals. Under this definition, it has been decided that the gap 
between rate of pension of current pensioners and past pensioners will be breached every five years. Under the OROP scheme, one, the benefit will be given with effect from 1st July 2014. 1st July 2014, you will get all the press note. The present government assumed office on 26 May 2014 and the budget was presented in June. And therefore, it has been decided to make the scheme effective from a date immediately thereafter. Two, arrears will be paid in four half-yearly installments. All widows, including war widows, will be paid arrears in one installment. Three, to begin with, OROP would be fixed on the basis of calendar year 2013. Four, pension will be refixed for all pensioners retiring in the same rank and with the same length of service as the average of minimum and maximum pension in 2013. Those drawing pensions above the average will be protected. Five, personnel who voluntarily retire will not be covered under OROP scheme. Details and explanation regarding this not covering VRS in OROP shall be provided in the order on OROP to be issued by MOD very soon. It will not impact uh, war injuries and all those are boarded out. Six, in future, the pension would be refixed every five years. It is estimated that the expenditure on arrears alone would be 10 to 12,000 crores of rupees apart from the fact that the previous government had provided for only rupees 500 crores in the budget, it is noteworthy that the Koshiari Committee had accepted the estimate of 235 crores as additional financial burden, total estimate was 1300 crores, to implement OROP. The present government has accepted OROP in true spirit without being constrained by these inaccurate estimates. OROP is a complex issue, a thorough examination of interest of retired or different periods of different periods and different rank is needed. The inter-service issues of the three forces also require consideration. This is not an administrative matter alone, therefore it has also been decided that one member judicial committee would be constituted which will give its report in six months. Prime Minister Sri Modi has fulfilled his commitment and approved OROP for armed forces personnel. Ministry of Defence will soon issue detailed government order. I would like to mention that the contribution of military and veterans in nation building over the past 67 years has been immeasurable. Now that the issue of OROP is hopefully behind us, I appeal to the veterans to continue to contribute to the vital task of nation building and development. Thank you. We will be given the... Thank you very much, sir. We will be distributing the uh, statement very, very shortly. Thank you. Please join us for a cup of tea in the adjacent room. Oh,